Today, we're going to talk about tax and why we think it's an important consideration for investors when you're looking at a company. Now, before we go on, I must say that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations and none of what follows should be considered to be investment advice. However, if you are thinking about making an investment, we suggest you think about the following. First, tax rates are important. It's simple. Companies based in low-tax countries get to keep more of their profits than companies based in high-tax countries. So while management and analysts often talk about things like EBITDA, operating cash flow, non-GAAP, adjusted earnings and things like that, bear in mind that dividends and shareholder wealth is created out of post-tax profits. Second, governments set the tax rate and if they don't collect enough tax, they can change the law. This is why, for most domestic businesses, over time, tax expense tends to trend towards the domestic rate. If they don't, you should investigate. Now, perhaps it's government-approved policy, for example, investing in tech or some other kind of investment. But if not, do a double check. Third, it's slightly different with international companies because they pay tax in all the jurisdictions they operate in. However, some have been somewhat naughty and have been jurisdiction shopping and shifting all of their revenue and profit to tax havens. Guess what? Governments have now complained and they're now getting serious about tax collection. This has led to a new OECD policy where tax should be collected where revenue is really generated and not passed through to some dubious tax haven. This means that companies will pay more tax and therefore less will be left for shareholders. Finally, be very careful. Tax expensed is not the same as tax paid. Now, there are some very good reasons for tax deferrals, and they're perfectly legitimate, but these tend to be reasonably short-term and wash out over time. However, at some companies, large differences between what is expensed and paid persist over time. We can sometimes adjust and understand this because of geography or industry, but when you can't, it's time to dig deeper. Ultimately, at companies like these, you have to wonder, are the profits being created through a bit of interesting accounting, or are they actually cash-backed and real? Now, these are just some of our findings, and if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for your time.